Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will be learning about tree traversal in data structures. So, let's take a look at the agenda for today's session. First, we will begin with understanding what exactly is tree traversal in data structures. Next, we will understand the data structure used for implementing tree traversal. After that, we will learn the types of tree traversals in data structure. And lastly, we will discuss the different applications of tree traversal in data structure. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. If you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, without further ado, let's get started with our first topic that is, what is tree traversal in data structure? Tree traversal is a process of visiting each and every node in a tree data structure. So right here on my screen, we have a tree with different nodes that is A, B, C, D and E. So here we will be visiting all the nodes one after the other using the tree traversal methods. Now that we have a brief understanding of what exactly is a tree traversal process, let's get into the next topic of our discussion for today, that is the data structure used for tree traversal. In a tree data structure, there are primarily two data structures utilized for tree traversal. The first one is the stack data structure and the second one is the queue data structure. A stack is a linear data structure that operates on the last in, first out, LIFO principle. There is only one pointer in the stack, that is the top pointer, which points to the stack's topmost element. Only the top of the stack is used for insertion and deletion. Now the next one is the queue. A queue, unlike stacks, is open on both the ends. The one end is always open and used only for input and the other is only used for deletion or elimination. The principle followed in Q is first in, first out or FIFO approach. Followed by that, we will look into the different types of tree traversals in data structure. Tree traversal can be done in the following ways. The first one is breadth first search and the second one is the depth first search. First, let us have a look at the breadth first search algorithm or breadth first search traversal. We follow level order traversal in breadth first search. Breadth first search traverses nodes by level instead of subtrees. First, we visit the root node. Followed by the root node, we visit the left subtree of the tree. Then, followed by the left subtree, we finish the right subtree of the entire tree. After that, we go until the leaf nodes of the entire tree is found. The second one is the depth first search. In depth first search, we traverse tree data structure in three ways, that is pre-order traversal, in-order traversal and post-order traversal. Let us take a look at how these traversals are carried out. First, let us discuss the pre-order traversal. We traverse the root node first in the pre-order traversal, then we traverse through the left subtree and finally we traverse through the right subtree. Then there is in-order traversal. In-order traversal involves traversing of the left subtree first, followed by that we enter the root node, then we visit the right subtree. Lastly, we have the post-order traversal. So post-order traversal involves traversing of left subtree first, then the right subtree, and finally we visit the root node. Now next, we will have a look at some of the important applications of tree traversal in data structure. So we use tree traversal in data structures to build a prefix expression or Polish notation from expression trees. Then utilize the pre-order traversal and then traverse the expression tree in a pre-orderly manner. A binary trees postfix representation or reverse Polish notation can be generated using post-order traversal. Because it returns values from the underlying set in order, according to the comparator setting up the binary search tree in order traversal is often employed on binary search trees. A complete binary tree can be deleted or released when deleting or freezing nodes and values in the post-order traversal. Now, next we will see an example 
based on tree traversal in data structures. So on my screen we have an example for tree traversal in data structure. To begin, we have included the enum or user specified data type traversal. It mostly used to give integral constant names which make a programmer easier to comprehend and maintain. We defined three variables in the enum data type that is pre-order, in-order and post-order traversal. We can define the type that can take one of the two values by using the type def and enum keywords. We have a traversal data type with trap variable and a node data type with node variable. Then we define the node using the data structure type as struct node. We declare one variable x and two nodes as a left and a right nodes respectively in this node section. We then attempted to create node using the create node function passing the root node as an argument. In this code, we use a malloc function to create a node, assign data to x and null to both the right and left nodes before returning to the root node. If node t is not equal to null, we simply return it. Otherwise, we will use the released tree function to release the left and right nodes and if neither is a root node, then we will use the free function to release the node t which will behave as the root node. Then we define the display tree function which takes the trap variable and the root node as parameters. There is a condition in this function that is if the root node is not null, we will return the root node. Then, using the switch case scenario, we attempted to traverse the tree using all three types of traversals. We utilize a trav variable in the switch function. So, if any of the in order, pre order, or post order variables match the trav variable, the traversal will be executed. Then, we created a tree using the create tree function, which takes a data variable as input. In the create tree function, we used a malloc function to create the root node and we first assigned null to the left and right nodes as well as the data to the variable x before returning to the root node. We first traverse the root node, then the left subtree and finally the right subtree in the pre-order traversal case. In order traversal case, we first traverse the left subtree, then the root node and finally the right subtree. And in the post-order traversal case, we traverse the left subtree, then the right subtree and finally traverse through the root node. And finally, we exit the display tree function and move on to the main function. We assign the values 5 as the root node, then 10, 20 and 30 as the left nodes and similarly 15, 25 and 35 as the right nodes and then we call the three tree traversals that is pre-order, in-order and post-order to traverse the tree. And finally, we release the root node. Now, let us try to execute this program and see the output. So there you go. The program got successfully executed and you can see that the output has been displayed on my screen. So the pre-order traversal is 5, 10, 20, 25, 15, 30 and 35. Followed by the pre-order traversal, we have the in-order traversal that is 20, 10, 25, 5, 30, 15 and 35. And finally, we have the post-order traversal that is 20, 25, 10, 30, 35, 15 and 5. And with that, let me give you a simple question. So what is the pre-order and post-order traversal of this binary search tree? So the elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. You need to find out the pre-order and post-order traversal of this binary tree and you can let us know the answer in the comment sections below. With that, we have come to an end of this tutorial on tree traversal in data structure. If you have any queries regarding the topics covered in this session or if you need the code executed in this particular session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.